Hello guys, welcome to the course of Microsoft Azure Fundamentals AZ900. In this course, we will be going on a journey where we will be learning about the boundless possibility of Azure and unleash your potential to innovate and scale your business in cloud. If you are a student, professional or anyone who wants to get started with cloud computing, this is the perfect spot for you. So let us just get started. Welcome guys. In the castle of Microsoft Azure AZ900, this particular certification is your starting point. When you earn AZ900, many paths and opportunities under the umbrella of Microsoft Azure will be opened for you. If you want to go in Azure administration, if you want to be a Azure developer, if you want to be, you know, work under Azure security, what not things, AZ900 will open all the gates for you. My goal being a tutor here is to ensure that you are able to earn this particular badge. This badge will be given to you by Microsoft when you will successfully complete this examination or the certification known as AZ900. About this course, I have created this course to ensure that all the knowledge that I transfer you is, you know, given to you in the best possible simplest way. With every passing year, Microsoft updates the course content or the certification content and it's my responsibility to give you the best. We will begin the course with an introduction about cloud computing and what all challenges we will face. Then I will introduce you to the course structure, how the course will be divided, what modules we will be studying and what not. I have tried my best to create engaging video lessons. I it's it's you know I know that many people who start the course they are not uh, motivated enough to reach till the end and it's my responsibility to keep you entertained and ensure the right amount of knowledge is going into your head. I have added practical examples to make the concepts very simple and very basic for you to understand and these practical examples will also help you to you know keep them in your mind to learn about them and when you will be sitting in the exam and when you will be writing you know selecting the mcqs for earning the certification these practical examples will help you to select the right option of the mcq We will also be doing hands-on in, in which we will be exploring the Azure portal. We will be logging into the Azure portal. I'll be showing you what exactly are the different places, what all services are provided by Azure, what it looks like. In this way, you will be comfortable in uh, you know, preparing for the next certification and you will also get the idea of what everything is behind this knowledge, what everything is behind these slides. Since you will be studying this course mostly on Udemy, I will ensure that I provide you clear audio. You can also turn on the subtitles in your preferred language if you're not comfortable in the way I'm talking. Also for your information, you can increase the speed of the videos if you are finding me very slow. Last but not the least, I'll try to provide you with downloadable resources if not, I will also provide you with a crash course at the end of this course. In crash course, we will be brushing all the concepts that we have studied within under like 30 to 45 minutes. If you are going to give your examination, it's highly recommended to go through the crash course prior day to the day of your examination. And I will try to regularly update this course. So if you have enrolled to this course once, the course will be with you lifetime and lifetime you will get the updated course content. So first we will start with the introduction. The introduction is embark on a transformative learning experience with our AZ900 course. As I told you about the course, I'm sure you must, must be very much excited. There you will discover the boundless possibilities of Azure. Just for your knowledge, what we are trying is just tip of the iceberg. Azure is very vast, 
full of possibilities and i have you know i will expect you to unleash your potential to innovate and scale your business in cloud if you are a student a working professional or someone who has to get started with cloud computing you are at the right place so we have three models which we have to target according to the updated curriculum of az900 the curriculum is divided into three modules which you can see on the screen the first module is describe cloud concepts in this we will be start you know learning around what exactly is cloud computing what are the models of cloud what kind of cloud computing services a organization industry professional or a business person should opt for and after learning about the cloud and we are aware of what you know are the basis that world or the it technology revolves around the cloud then we will move to as your architecture and services in this particular section we will only or we, i would like to say that we would start focusing only on microsoft azure in this we will study that how azure is created what is architecture of microsoft azure and what all services azure provides us so depending upon your business needs personal needs organization or industry needs you can opt for different services in in this particular module you will learn about them and then after module 2 is done we will be heading our way to module number 3 describe as your management and governance in this we will learn okay fine we know the cloud concepts okay fine we know how we are what all services we are going to opt for in module number 3 we will understand that how we have to manage them what kind of uh, rules or standards we have to follow in our cloud so that it's in accordance with the rules of the government and stuff once all these three modules will be done my friend you will be ready to take the az900 certification but just to make you comfortable i will be providing you with a crash course at the end and why you should take this exam so you know a uh, as your az900 examination is a prerequisite for many clients in many mncs within india if you work for tcs if you work for capgemini infosys lti and what not they will ask you to have az900 and if you are trying to opt in this industry in any particular job make it testing job development job a uh, business analyst job or if you are just a fresher who wants to just starting getting into the it field my friend az900 is the prerequisite for every single team that is using microsoft as your cloud platform no matter if it's a devops team a testing team or not so this certification will be a huge highlight in your resume if you are going ahead in cloud computing teams or if you are opting for a cloud based job profile and not and the second part of it if you are student and you are curious to learn about cloud in, in at industry level and how to get started again this exam plays an important role so there are multiple reasons microsoft azure is one of the leading cloud computing public platform that is available by microsoft Uh, so i think you, you know we all have our personal reasons why should we take this exam so i'm sure you have been yours so i have told you many things about az900 and i'm sure i'll be repeating few of them but yeah az900 again a entry level certification to the microsoft azure world you will be learning about cloud computing concepts and benefits and you will be learning about different cloud deployment models we will talking about public cloud private cloud and hybrid cloud i'll try to make you understand the three cloud infrastructures that is service platform or software so platform as a service and infrastructure as service and software as service and we will also be go diving into all these things i don't want to bore you with this i just want to prepare you for what is coming in forward So just let's go without further